If the internet is about getting clicks and that's what it's become, I think early on the internet was about pornography and some basic communication and, and some, some dumb stuff. Like there was some, some really good, stuff. I miss those HTML flash <laughs> random yeah. things, you know? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Good times. And, and, and social media was about like identity porn. I call social yeah. media identity porn. Look at me, look at me porn. Uh, if AI comes in, I think AI starts to automate the clicks and potentially takes the clicks away. What does the internet become with AI? What, 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 how does AI in your mind transform that? I guess the question I have is what does AI want? If it doesn't want clicks, because the internet is, is a marketplace that wants us to buy stuff and it runs on us buying things online or spending our time on it. And if AI automates and unnecess necessitates that, I suppose that it it's a matter of the the goal or the protocol of the AI, and maybe that's that's our choice. I'm not sure how to to answer that really. That's a very good good question. Do you do you have a thought in in this line? I, I mean. Yes and no. I mean, I have thoughts, but I don't know how good they are about this specifically. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is sort of like the horse manure of, of right. you know, New York. I mean, what I think there's a, a number of ways to play it. One is an AI that is that's protecting you from the clicks and it knows what you need to do and what you're navigating and it keeps you from being poached and, and predatorized and it sort of helps streamline you. But the other thought I have is that the Internet has to be recoded. And that basically, if you think about it as a bunch of if, if then statements, Boolean algebraic statements, and these gatings that are m operated by clicks, it, it that structure goes away. And the underlying math that sits behind it just starts to naturally morph because there's another way to maintain attention, or there's another way to ultimately get the eyeballs and the, the value out of doing it. But um, I find it to be so onerous, this clicking. I call it button clicking monkeys and it just click, 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 click all day long. And I wonder if there's just a way to streamline that to actually turning it back into a tool that really supports us and helps us. So now what I think hearing that is if the internet's optimized for clicks, then uh, AI would be optimized for decisions and it would try to make as many decisions for us as possible. Hmm. So like that. What YouTube videos do I want to watch today fitting in my schedule of a full day of nothingness because I don't have a job because of AI curator <laughs> for me? <laughs> Make sure I, I have time for lunch, please. Um, and and 3D you... print it. it. 3D prints the appropriate lunch. It goes all the way to a point that for me does become dystopian and it, it's around choice where I have this kind of weird feeling that all of a sudden humans optimize to, to optimization. And so then the only food you get to eat is the one that's from your data biologically sensed and printed for you. And then the only things you get to do optimize your health to a hundred percent. And the only thing you get to see optimizes your mind and, and your, the value of that time spent, et cetera, kind of oh, through this yeah. weird dystopian mathematical probabilistic field that, you know, it's choosing everything for you. This reminds me, there there is a dark side to this. And it reminds me of people who like coffee. And there's a certain threshold where you like coffee so much that it actually makes coffee start to be unpleasant because you can't just get the normal beans. It has to be these certain beans and you want them <laughs> at exactly this temperature, at exactly this grinding thing. Exactly. And, you know, those people become somewhat in, insufferable sometimes and they're just like so rigid in their in their coffee choices but they know how to make the best cup and <laughs> yeah we i can i can see that that happening in a lot of or just that yeah that the rigidity of of having being so used to knowing what we want or having such a clear thing and not yeah not having to choose i think our ability to make our own choices but yeah, mm. it's nice, and and we do it all the time. Like Google, Google makes drives makes all of my turn choices in my car for me right now. Mm.